Austin, thank you. And tonight we have a much better idea of what was going on within the walls of Clark High School in the moments before the principal and vice principal were shown the door. All of this came to a head during a school board meeting last month where some parents and students asked for his administration's removal. And right now, 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartel speaks exclusively to the principal and the vice principal. He joins us live. And now, Joe, there are some allegations here of slander, micromanagement, and now chaos. Todd Trisha, there really are. Some insiders are describing this school as essentially a ship without a cap at the moment. And there's some real concerns about this school and moving forward. It's a tale of two schools at E.W. Clark High School in the heart of the valley. It has two very different and distinct populations of students. There was a great imbalance inside of the walls of Clark High School in terms of how the magnet population is performing versus the children of the community. And I don't know if that message has been out there at this point. I think it's important that we get that message out today. Former Clark High School principal Antonio Real says he was forced out in early December. For months, he was trying to fix what he saw as a major student achievement gap. Case in point, the school has a magnet program with 850 students considered to be some of the brightest and best in the country. More than 9 in 10 are considered college and career ready by the time they leave. But for the remaining 2,300 students who live within the school's boundaries, less than two in 10 are considered college and career ready after graduation. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. The reality is um, Clark has a school that's, that's had a great reputation over time and rightfully so in terms of how that magnet population has been grown and succeeded. The reality is there's another population that's been underserved and it just can't be said any other way. Rael says his approach was based in research and discipline with a focus on students of color and poverty. Of the more than 3,200 enrolled students at Clark High School, ethnicity demographics at the school show the majority are Hispanic and black. The now ousted administration says many of the students struggle to even have their basic needs met. And it's important for people to know that the students who are not getting what they need are going to continue not getting what they need as long as things continue status quo. Former assistant principal Christina Bentheim also removed from her position. Both administrators point to their urgency and immediacy to institute changes for the public backlash and shakeup. Rael says his changes included stricter security, limiting the number of entry points to the school. The tardy and attendance policies were more closely followed. Staff received in-classroom visits by administrators and received coaching. Dress code policies were also strictly followed. The apparent backlash from students, parents, and staff was quick. About 70 of the teachers are planning on leaving by the end of next year or by the end of uh, this semester. Although you, Mr. Rael, may be the leader of Clark High School, you are not the most important person at the school. The most important person at the school is the student. The school district removed Rael and Ben Time hours later from the school. I actually found out that they actually removed him. That was, it was the hardest day of my work life going to work the next day. Um, you know, if it wasn't for my students, I don't know how I would have went to work because like he really did mean that much as a first administrator who ever really like poured into me and believed in me and you know, um, I felt supported. Now insiders say the school is in another transition, waiting for a new leader to come in and enact change. Rael and Ben Times say they stand by their pace of change and expect to be in a school very soon. And the school district tells 13 investigates that they will select new leadership here for Clark High School at the very soonest uh, at the uh, beginning of the semester. So it's ex actually expected pretty quickly here. The district was also unable to discuss any individual personnel matters. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.